Okay, we're going to find the centroid of this region. As we can see, we have the curve 1 minus x squared, and we just want from 0 to 1, right? Remember, we have to find the area of this region first. So let's go ahead and do so here. So let me indicate that. For the area, we have to integrate this from 0 to 1 of this curve, which is just 1 minus x squared dx, right? And let's go ahead and do that. This is going to be, the integral of 1 is just x, and then the integral of this is going to be minus 1 third x to the third power, and then we have to plug in, plug in, right? So plug in 0, plug in 1, plug in 1 first, of course. So plug in 1, we get 1, minus 1 third times 1, and then to the third power, and then this is the first term, so let me just put a parenthesis around it, and a minus, plug in 0, plug in 0, right? So you get 0, minus 1 third times 0 to the third power. I know this is just going to be 0, but I want to show you because it work anyway. This right here is just 1, and then this right here is just 1 third. 1 minus 1 third, you get 2 third. And that will be the area for that. And now, here is the main dish. This was just the appetizer, right? Okay, x bar. This is the x coordinate for the centroid of this region. First of all, we have to remember the formula, and remember, don't forget about the area. For the x bar, we must have 1 over a, right? And then we have to integrate this from whatever to whatever, which is the 0 to 1. And then we have to do x times whatever this curve is, right? So x times the function, which is 1 minus x squared, and this is it, okay? And then now we just have to work this out. First of all, we have the 1 over a, which is the 2 thirds, so let me put down 1 over 2 thirds like this. And I cannot really integrate this yet because I have to distribute this tribute, right? So I will still keep the integral sign. Let me put a 0 right here better. 0 to 1, x times 1 is x, x times this is minus x to the third power. And now I can integrate. This is going to be by the way, 1 over 2 thirds, we do the reciprocal of 2 thirds, we end up with 3 over 2. And let's open the parentheses. Integrating x in the x world, we get 1 half x to the second power, and then minus 1 fourth x to the fourth power, and then plug in, plug in again, right? Alright, so it's like this. And we will have 3 half, and let me plug in 1 to here and to here first, and we will have 1 half times 1 squared square minus 1 half, 1 over 4, <laughs> times 1 inside and then 4 like this. This is the first, and then we'll subtract the second right here, plug in 0, plug in 0. And you know 0 plug in here, you just get 0, plug in 0, you just get 0, so minus 0. So yeah, but it's a good habit to be sure when you plug in this number into here, you end up with 0. Anyway, this is going to be 3 half right here, and the inside is what? This is just technically 1 half, and this is just technically 1 over 4. 1 half minus 1 over 4 is 1 over 4. So, this right here is just multiplying by 1 over 4. Multiply this out, you get 3 over 8, and this is going to be the x bar, alright? And now, moving on to the y bar. y bar is slightly trickier, so pay more attention to this. First of all, we have to do 1 over the area as well. And then we have to integrate from 0 to 1 also, right? So put that down. This is the part that, you know, it's a common mistake. A lot of people miss this. Inside here, remember to multiply by a 1 half, okay? And then, we will look at the function, which is 1 minus x squared. And we have to square this function. So that's why I put the 1 minus x squared in a parentheses and then square that. Okay, this is how you set up to get the y bar. And then the rest is just a matter of doing the computation, so let's go ahead and do that. 1 is still 1 over a is 2 thirds. And then we can also bring the 1 half to the front, so let's go ahead and do that. And then let's put on the integral, and this is still integrals from 0 to 1. And now I can focus on this. To integrate this square, and you know this is just a polynomial, the best way to integrate this, of course, just to multiply it out. And you just go ahead and square the first term, which is 1 squared, which is 1, and then minus 2 times this and that. 2 times 1 is just 2, times that, which is just x squared. And then we add it with this term squared, which is x squared squared, which is x to the fourth power. 
right? So you just multiply this out, get this, and then we have the dx right here. And right here, perhaps, let me just do it, we'll take one more step for you guys. 1 over 2 thirds, this is going to be 3 half. Let me just write it in red first. And I will multiply by 1 half, okay? And then inside here, let's go ahead and integrate. Integrate 1 in the x world, we get x, and then integrate the next one, we get minus 2 thirds. This is my 2, right? 2 thirds x to the third power, and then plus 1 fifth x to the fifth power. And then we plug in, plug in again, 0 and 1, right? Like this. Okay, this times that, 3 over 4. Open the parentheses, plug in 1, so I'll show you guys all the work. 1 minus 2 thirds times 1 to the third power, plus 1 fifth times 1 to the fifth power. And this is the first, right? And then you minus, plug in 0, 0, 0 you end up with 0, 0, 0. So just put out 0 minus 0 plus 0, right? Anyway, this is 3 over 4. And now, we are going to combine fractions. So this is 1 minus technically 2 thirds plus technically 1 fifth. You get the common denominator, which is 15, right? 1 is the same as saying 15 over 15, and then minus, multiply this and that by 5, so 10 over 15. And then add it with, multiply here and here by 3 and 3, right? So it gets 3 over 15. Okay, this is 3 over 4. 15 minus 10 is 5, plus 3 is 8, over the same denominator, which is 15. Okay, this and that, you know, reduce, right? Cross reduce first, and then this is 1, and this is 2. So in another word, altogether you get 2 over 5. This right here is for the y bar. So I can come back to here for you guys, and I'll indicate the answer in blue. x bar is 3 over 8, so let me just indicate maybe it's somewhere here, right? Then y bar is 2 over 5, so let me just indicate maybe it's somewhere here. And this is the centroid, which is 3 over 8, comma, 2 over 5. And this right here is the answer. That means if this is like a plate, you can hold your finger right here, and can hold it up, can bonus this region. And that's so cool, isn't it? Anyway, that's it.